So I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions after seeing that, and I'll do my best to answer some of the ones that I think are going to be asked. First thing off, I can't take credit for this idea. It was actually something that Vera posted on April 1st as a, as a joke. And I left a comment, I think a couple other people did too, basically saying that, you know, I know this is a joke, but if you sold this, I think people would buy it. So I challenged myself to design something similar, but without actually damaging or modifying any of their tools. I know the easiest way probably would have been just to purchase a bunch of screwdrivers and then just thread the shafts and then basically put a nut on the other side. So after I got the Vera Advent calendar, I noticed that the quarter inch hex offset screwdriver that they included did not have the typical locking notches on the on the end that you typically see on almost all bits. And that's typically where the uh, ball bearing would go inside of a locking holder. So they must have some kind of way to hold that in place. Uh, there must be some sort of cam or mechanical advantage that allows that thing to stay there. So after I saw that, I tried it on a couple of standoffs, quarter inch standoffs, and it, they fit just fine and they wouldn't come off. And then I picked uh, three different colors. They have the ESD for yellow and the white one is a stainless version and just made a coat rack out of those five. The threaded inserts I use are these ones that are designed for softwood where you drive it in with a, a hex bit. And in retrospect, I probably should have used a T-nut in place of this. For now, it's going to hold, but I think over time it's going to get looser and looser, and I'll probably at some day replace this with a T-nut, and that should be pretty straightforward. And part of that's because of the wood that I used. I used a very soft pine, ponderosa pine piece, just a piece of scrap that I had lying around. If I used a hardwood, it probably would have done a little bit better. The standoffs that I used are these uh, 832 to quarter inch hex. So for the cam work, I use a program called HMS Works, which has a free plug-in for SolidWorks for 2D work. And that works just fine for what I need to use it for. So the CNC machine is a design that I came up with that borrows heavily on the X-Carve, Inventables X-Carve design. So I made some significant changes to the design, including some of the hardware that's used, the way that you clamp the mounting pieces down, and I built an enclosure around the entire thing to try to keep the dust in. And all these drawings I created for it were actually just for my use um, when I was building it. I don't think I ever got around to actually releasing these formally. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and I'll catch you guys next time.